Hello YouTube, hello Mictow, hello Red Pill, this is Red Pill in the Wind. Now, here is my exceptions on dating single mothers. And it's three words. Band of Brothers. What do I mean by band of brothers? I will explain in detail. In the military, you have you you gather a certain assort you gather a, an assortment of, friend, of people that you know. Some of them you're with, some of them you are side by side in the same hot foxhole for your entire career. Some of them, whether it be four or ten or twenty, some of them you're side by side in the same foxhole. Some of them you're, you, you're mopping the same floors. <clears throat> and some of them you're fighting in the same combat area but you have been around each other to know how each other is going to react in different in each scenario they know you you know them he's had a wife that has been faithful to that to him and only him throughout his whole entire military career and he has been and she has been with him before the military. And she supported him before and during his stint in the military. And they and I've been with around them for years. He I'm cool with him. His family likes me. His wife like if 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 his wife likes me and he likes me and his and his fam and my family likes their family. And something were to happen to him, and he were to tell me, make sure my family's okay. That is the one and only exception. I would have to know that person throughout my whole entire career not just uh, not just on duty off duty as well like we go out there go out to like we go take we take he takes his family out to go karting or I take my take go out and say hey I'm gonna go see a movie when when you want want to bring want to come want to want to come along want to tag along But I don't get that. That is the only that is the only reason I would do I would even I would entertain dating a single mother. That is the only reason why I would ever date or marry a single mother. That specific scenario. Band of brothers. That is the only scenario that I would even justify dating a sing messing around with a single mother.
And if that's the case, I would do everything in my power to bring my brother back. I don't care if it's a, the thing is, I don't care if it's a finger. I don't care if it's an ear. I don't care if it's a head. I'm bringing him back. With that being said, let's get on with the show. I'm going to say this. This is this is not just to women. This is to other MGTOW and Red Pillars. You don't need and, and to 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 other MGTOW, Red Pillars, the F, the, the the news media, the FBI, whatever that stump whoever stumbles upon this. MGTOW and the Red Pill do not need to recruit anybody. We could all go radio silent right here, right then and there. The only thing we're doing when we're making content is confirming, is confirming why we went the way when we went MGTOW, or we went Red Pill. You know, we're just confirming why it is. To to you know, we're just confirming. We're just confirming the actions that led to this. You know, nothing more, nothing less. We don't we don't need to make content. You know, like you're not hurting us by directing somebody, directing a person to somebody else's content. You're not hurting us none. You're not hurting me none. I'm not gonna I'm not monetized, and nor am I gonna ask to be monetized. <laughs> You're not hurting me. You, you really are not hurting me by 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 using your little AI algorithm to your little joke, your little chump algorithm. Because we don't have to say anything, ladies. You do it for us. You do it for us. Especially the city girls, city girls. Y'all do it for us. You do it for us by picking these dirtbag drug dealer dudes, by picking these dude, the, the, these dudes to literally sitting in your car, leaning back, looking like two seven, two backward sevens. You know, you 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 literally like by having this dirtbag mug individual leaning back in your in the passenger seat of your car when they should be leaning up looking for places that are hiring, trying to be up here in the gangster lean looking like two backwards sevens. <laughs> and when he drop you off at work, when you drop when you off at work, he takes your car, go back home, and plays video games. And then he, and then you, and then he go up here, bring some chicken to your house while you on on business trip. And that, and now you got an attitude saying all men are trash, right? Now he's your excuse, right? And now you you up here. Now you got a cult following. Now you got a cult following because you mad at this one dude who done you dirty. And so that because that one dude done you dirty, all dudes done you dirty, right? You do it till you do this yourself. You do this yourself when you when you have a decent man who's try who literally tries to everything to keep your the house, roof over your head. Food on the table. Who literally, who literally does his best for his to 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 to, to, to the traditional role, to the best of his ability. Got married with you, basically, aka invited the government into his house to dictate on what he can and can't do. 
and you go about when he's being exclusive with you, he's being exclusive with himself to you, faithful to you, and you will go about when he's up uh, basically at work, bringing another dude into his bed. Bringing another dude into his bed, thinking you're slick, and he come home and, and you divorce him, right? You divorce him because you cheated and you got all the cash and prizes. So we don't need to recruit for nobody. You do it for us. You do it for us. You do all the the recruit the logistics for us, ladies. When you reject a decent man who, who's trying to get ran through by the top one percent and his cronies in a, in a freaking double ender party, looking like the ending scene of Requiem for a Dream. <laughs> Y'all just tell y'all just so precious. We don't need to recruit. You do it for us. You do it for us. And then you come back with two kid two, three kids later. Expecting us a man like me to take care of him. Get out of your mind. This is Ripco on the wind. Signing off. <laughs>